Hey guys, Kenny here. So today I'm back with another crazy bedrock mod tutorial. And this one is a really fun mod that actually adds a cool twist to your survival or creative world. I'll be showing you guys how to download and use Pixelmon or Pixelcraft whatever you want to call it, for, of course, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There's a bunch of different types of Pokemon that this mod adds to the game, and even some rare or megas in the mix as well. There's a lot more features to go over, but we'll get to that later. Stay tuned to find out how to install Pixelmon on all platforms. Alright, so step one is to be on a mobile device such as Android or iOS. It doesn't really matter as long as you have Minecraft installed on it. I'm using an iPhone, but I'll put a video for Android users in the description if you want more of an explanation on how to actually get this done. So this tutorial is really simple as long as you watch till the end. Please make sure before you comment a question you have watched the vid till the end because chances are I already answered it during the tutorial and so you don't mess up the install process. Okay, so first thing you want to do is open the link to the mod that is in the description. This is a website that has the full download for the mod behavior and resource pack. It has a little bit of info on what you're going to see in the mod. All you want to do is just click the green button. It's going to pop up with a little window that says download. All you have to do is just click download. Wait a couple seconds, it'll take like 10 to 15 seconds to download, and it'll be at the bottom left. Just click the button and then click the downloads page, and it'll have a list of all your downloads. Once the download's complete, it'll show the little image, and all you gotta do is just go ahead and click on the actual file. After you do that, you're pretty much done with half of the steps. It'll download the resource pack and then the behavior pack. Now for me, I'm getting this error because I already downloaded both of them, but for you, it should say something like download complete or install complete. So once both packs have been installed, you can go ahead and create your world. And this is a really important step or else the mods won't work. When you're creating the world, you wanna make sure to go to the experiment section and turn on all of the options I have on in the video. And then for the behavior and resource pack, all you gotta do is go to the tab and then there should be a selection of a couple different resource packs and you just select the one that you want to use which is going to be the pokemon res and pokemon bev you want to make sure both of those are active in the actives tab and then you can go ahead and mess with the world if you want you can change the title make cheats allow cheats or don't allow cheats it's really up to you at this point you can even make it a creative world but me personally i like having it on survival and then you can go ahead and start the world now this is going to take just a couple more minutes than a regular world so just be patient give it some time and while this is loading make sure you have your other console such as a ps4 ps5 xbox you know whatever you have pc also set up so you can join the world so in this case i'm going to use the ps4 so we're going to go ahead and switch over to my ps4 and once you're on your second console by the way this doesn't work on nintendo switch i forgot to say that in the last video but yeah all you have to do is just go to your friends tab and your second account should be there if your account isn't there all you got to do is make sure you're connected to the same wi-fi make sure you have ps plus and also make sure you have it added on microsoft as well once you join on your second account all you want to do is click download and join and it's going to start downloading the mod pack it's gonna take like maybe two to three minutes. It really just depends on your internet speed. But then after this, you will be loaded into the game. So once you load into the game, it's gonna have you choose your starter Pokemon out of three. Then after you do that, it's gonna put a little icon in your hotbar. And this is gonna be how you interact with everything. This is how you throw your Pokemon out. This is how you start battles. This is how you trade. And all you have to do to select an option is just crouch and then click L2 after that. And if you wanna craft Pokeballs, all you gotta do is find these Apricorn trees around the map. They range from different colors, which which equal different types of pokeballs now another cool part about this mod is they actually add a bunch of different ores to the game such as ruby crystal sapphire and you can find them randomly if you go mining and they actually have their own armor sets and tool sets that you can use in the game which is a cool little addition that the devs added and that's pretty much it i hope this mod works for you and if it doesn't like always put it in the comments and i will try to fix your problems as much as possible if this mod ends up working for you, then let me know by hitting the like button and turning on the bell so you know when a new tutorial for a cool mod like this drops again. Thank you so much for watching the video and making it to the end. I will see you in another one. Peace.